Well, um, we've been a bit more lucky with uh, for weather today. Um, we're actually getting the odd gap in the clouds and the odd bit of sunshine, mm. which is making a nice change. Yes. Um, because, yeah, yesterday was grey. Yesterday was grey. The day before that, the wind was just insane. Yeah. Um, yeah, today we've only had little, little bits of drizzle. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah, not so we're not, yeah. we're not doing too bad. Yeah. Um, so, uh, as you can probably tell, we're stood halfway up a mountain. Um, and the mountain which was stood halfway up is called Ben Stack. But behind us, we've got Ben Arkel, which is one of my favourite mountains. Um, and um, yeah, we're sort of today. The plan really for the daytime, as it is currently, was just to sort of drive around and see if we could take some images. I mean, we're, we're kind of outside our comfort zone of um, just taking photographs at sunrise and sunset because um, we don't really have enough time up here to keep doing that, especially as we've probably only got a couple of sunrises and sunsets well, in the week to take. So. Yeah, the, the forecast was for nice weather this afternoon, so yeah. you've got, you've seize the opportunity. Really, yeah, so. exactly. So, um, so this evening, the plan, when hopefully we might get a little bit of a sunset, hopefully. is to head up along the north coast and head to a place called Ben Loyal, Loyal. which is a, a beautiful mountain up near tongue on the north coast mm. um, so we're going to see how that turns out but in the meantime we thought we'd come down here um, and try and get some daytime shots and actually yeah, taking shots in the daytime when it's not sunrise or sunset uh, when when the weather's like this and you've kind of got the odd gap in the clouds it can work quite nicely because you get little dappled bits mm. of light over yeah. the mountains so um, we'll see how we get on um, but uh, yeah I think worth a shot and a shot. Oh, it's just such a gorgeous place I mean look at it it's beautiful here yeah. <laughs> all right so we'll see how we get on oh, so so Arkel is definitely one of my favorite mountains um, I've always loved it ever since I was a child up here um, I just love the patterns of scree on the side of it I think it's it's a beautiful beautiful mountain um, and obviously it's very photogenic as well and it's one which I've photographed before so we were here about 18 months ago um, and I took this image which I'll flash up on screen now um, but that was taken down by the loch where they have this boffy um, which creates quite a nice little focal point for an image but this time we wanted to do something a little bit different, so uh, we decided to climb up a bit higher. Um, and now I'm just waiting for these sort of gaps, uh, gaps in the cloud to shed dappled light over the side of a mountain. I still think this is probably going to end up as a black and white image, so I'm sort of taking it with a view to making a black and white image. Um, Camera-wise, it's all fairly straightforward. I've just got a, a simple polarising filter on the end and all the settings as normal, F11, ISO 100. Um, but what I have been playing around with a little bit is also using the telephoto. So I've had the 400mm lens on there as well, just to try and uh, pick out uh, the, 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 the sort of peak of the mountain as well, as that's in cloud. And I think that's worked quite nicely uh, too. But yeah, we'll see how these images turn out. So I asked 
Sam for a list of local mountains where you've got a relatively flat bit, a pointy mountain, and then a relatively fat bit. Um, <laughs> I can't very quite, technical. Yes, very technical. <laughs> I can't quite explain why, but I find these mountains more aesthetically pleasing. So I don't want too many ranges of mountains in the way. Our has got quite a flat peak and I didn't want that. I wanted a pointy peak. Fussy, aren't you? I know. I, 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 like, I like to know what I like. Um, so of the list of mountains that Sam gave me, um, I chose Ben Loyal, which is behind me. Um, we have kind of missed the light by half an hour, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, when we were driving over, we could see the light was hitting the mountain mm. directly. Um, we might get lucky, because uh, the, the sun's currently behind a cloud, so it might be that yep. if the cloud moves, it might come out again. But, yep. um, yeah, fingers there crossed. There was brilliant light on it about, about half, an, half hour an hour before we arrived. Um, so you never know, you might get lucky. But, yeah, that's the... The reason for being here is my short list of aesthetically pleasing mountains. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we, we, the reason we missed the light, well, potentially have missed the light, was because we were a bit delayed over at Ben Stack and yeah. um, Ben Arkle. Yeah. Um, we have been, I think we just gave ourselves too much to do today. We? Uh, yeah, we've been driving around quite a lot and just yeah. been rushing about a bit. but. I don't know. I I still think there's hope. I reckon. I reckon the sun's <laughs> going to be high enough. I I have more hope than Hannah. <laughs> well, I'd like the cloud to disappear. There's a bit too much cloud behind the mountain. There needs mm. to be some to pick up any red hues. Yeah, I think we could, we're going to get some nice colour in those clouds. It, it's I once just, a, once a, yeah. It's a bit too much cloud. I I have hope. Uh, I have hope. We'll I think we'll it's going. I think it's going to work. We'll see. Well, and if nothing else, we'll just get a nice shot of it looking grey. Yeah, moody grey. But no, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Um, but on on the plus side, on the drive over here, we did manage to mm. stop and take a few quick snaps. Just as well, if, if a couple of bits. There's one point at the the, the bottom end of Loch Erebel where the light was just hitting um, some of the hills down there really, really nicely. Oh, so I, we just had to stop the yeah. car, jump out, grab the camera, take a shot. I uh, didn't have time to vlog it, unfortunately. We just had to work so quickly. You wanted to. Yeah, and there was another spot where Ben Hope was catching the light, mm. and we, we missed the light on Ben Hope. Um, by seconds. By s literally seconds. There was nowhere um, to pull over. No, so. no. But um, but I did manage to point the camera in a different direction and over towards um, Kranstaki and uh, Spionard is the name of that mountain. And there were some nice uh, light rays coming down over that mountain. So we've got some nice images yeah, there. Yeah. Um, and yeah, with any luck, we might get a shot of Ben Loyal as well. But mm. we'll see how we get on. Well, I've got my composition set up, but the light, I think I, Hannah was right, and I was just a little bit too optimistic, and we're not going to get any more light this evening, so. But I'll take a shot anyway, and we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how it turns out. Um, I've got the camera down low, I've just got a polarizer on there. Um, I've got some rocks in, in, the sh in the shallows here, which are just sort of leading up towards the mountain. Um, and so I think, you know, if, if only we had the light, <laughs> this would have been quite a good shot. Um, but I'll take it anyway, and we'll see how it turns out. Right, well, I think we, we definitely came here too late, unfortunately. It was yeah. really frustrating because as, as we were driving over, we could see the, the mountain was being bathed in amazing golden light. And it was we, beautiful. Yeah, yes. we just got here too late. Indeed. Uh, never mind, common photographer problem. Yeah, and that's what I was going to say, is that I think it is relatively common to spend multiple hours doing photography and to only come away with one shot that you particularly like. So. Yep. Hopefully that's us today, in that we yep. hopefully we'll have got some shots from earlier on in the day that, yeah. that come out nicely. I think we have so. a few nice shots to show for the day, so yeah. yeah, it's not all a disappointment. It's just a shame we didn't, you know, this, this was the one thing we wanted to do today, was come to Ben <laughs> Loyal and get the Ben Loyal shot. Um, and I have a composition set up here, which I've, I've, I've taken um, 
taken a couple of images here and it would have been a nice composition if we'd had that light but oh well never mind yeah there's always our next trip up here oh, exactly that's exactly <laughs> what i was about to say yeah. yeah so i mean we're lucky enough that we come here quite you know fairly frequently so yeah um, well free accommodation up here yeah so, so we can always yeah, come back another back. day so another year maybe but yeah never mind um and anyway so i hope you've enjoyed this vlog anyway and mm -hmm. um we've still got another day up here before we head back down to bristol so um yeah hopefully we'll get some more photography done tomorrow and yeah. yep and if you did enjoy this video then do feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you do like this content and you haven't subscribed to our channel already do consider giving us a subscribe as well that would be great <laughs> but yeah anyway cool we'll see you next time thanks for watching